tips uh, for beginners before I start the video. So if you just want to get straight to the video, I suggest you fast forward to this number. So tip number one for beginners, do not read the Bible as a regular, ordinary book starting from Genesis all the way to Revelation. Why? Because number one, I did it and it was awful. I didn't understand what I was reading. Um, it was just so new, different for me. So I would suggest to start with the Gospels, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John are the gospels you will find those in the beginning of the new testament some books are only new testament so you can get those um to start off with um or some bibles actually have like a page that divides the old testament from the new testament and it actually says new testament advising you that you're about to start reading the new testament so the first four books that you will read in the in the new testament are the gospels that i suggest you should start reading and studying tip number two take your time okay sometimes i know especially for a lot of us that did not grow up in church we kind of just want to read the whole bible and kind of catch up with all of the years that we missed out but really it's not gonna benefit you if you read the whole bible 66 books in a day or two and um you're not gonna be able to retain everything you read so just take your time and even if it's you know a chapter at a time a few scriptures at a time a few verses at a time uh, but really just meditate on what you're reading try to um you know pray about it pray about what you're reading um if you get like study bibles those help as well um the study bible that i have i will mention it later on in the video tip number three for a new beginner in the word of god have a notebook ready um i know sometimes when you begin to read you don't have much to write but you can write you know just questions you have stuff that you don't understand maybe you can ask a leader with a good testimony um, at your local church or somebody a mentor that you trust that knows the word but not just knows the word but lives according to the on word. how I study the scripture so really I don't have a routine I know that it's probably not a good thing to have to not have a routine I know a lot of people have routines routines are good you have a set time when you come and read the scriptures and study the scriptures. I don't have a set time just because my days are not always the same. I just make sure that I have the time, I take out the time during my day to read the word, to study the scriptures. So what I do um, first and foremost is when I come to the word, when I want to study the word, I do it out of a mindset that I want to know more about God. I want to get closer to his presence. I want to know more about him. Okay. I don't do it um, because I have to preach somewhere and I need a sermon, even though when you're studying, the Holy Spirit will tell you, will give you sermons, whether you have invitations or not. I mean, it's not all about preaching at a church. I mean, you can preach by the way you live. You can preach or, you know, share what you learned with a homeless on the street, with your coworker, with a classmate. So that's the number one thing I do is I study the scriptures because I want to get closer to him. I want to know more about him and i'm willing to be the holy spirit's student okay the holy spirit is our teacher and he loves to teach us so i mean if you were a if you were a teacher to rather a student that is willing to learn you know not coming to your class like they know it all so it's the same thing with the holy spirit i don't come with the things that i think I already know and I always come to his presence and wanting to learn wanting to be submissive to what I even tell him like Lord even if there's something that you have to unteach me in order for you to teach me the right way and I'm willing one thing that I have learned is that 
he will teach you everywhere anywhere like it's spontaneous like he doesn't have he's not boring at all like he doesn't have like a set schedule where like okay every day at 3 a.m i'm gonna teach you something at least not in my experience um he always like he's taught me while i'm in the shower he's taught me something while i'm cooking while i'm driving all you have to do is just get ready be ready i don't carry a notebook everywhere and every day but i do always have my phone on me so what i do is i always um take my phone out and write whatever he's giving me at the moment like I might just be like meditating or singing and then all of a sudden like I'll get a download of a scripture and the meaning of the scripture I'm like oh my god no wonder like this means that and then later on go over it with more time but it started in the shower or it started me cooking or it started me driving wherever but I gave him that importance I gave him that time that like no matter what I'm doing I'm gonna stop because it's important for me to be taught from you the Bible that I use to read in Spanish it's just this one it's a regular Santa Biblia um, just in case you know Spanish I use the Reina Valera version so this is kind of like the new the King James version I believe for my English Bible that I use I I did get a study Bible and I don't have a Spanish study Bible like this but I love this Bible this is the woman's study Bible and this is in the version new King James version and I love this Bible because sometimes like I'll be reading something and if I don't really understand the meaning like I'll come to my English one and then what I like about this Bible too is that I love the wording like it's big enough for me to be comfortable reading it you have to get a Bible that you know if you need glasses of course you're not gonna get like a Bible that has miniature words because you're not even gonna be comfortable reading it and then at the bottom it has the um, notes that the Bible itself has you don't want to you don't have to read it like every single time but when I study my Bible these are very helpful because they're more like informative study they're not like you're reading like they're preaching at you but they're like informing you more in depth of what you just read for me it is really helpful because it opens up my mind so that the Holy Spirit can can then teach me more or give me sermons out of the information and then that I receive. If there's something that I don't fully understand, like most of the time when I'm reading and something pops up to me, I reread it and reread it and reread it and then I get my notebook out and then as soon as like I'll start getting the download of what I see in it, like I'll I'll be writing it and if I read it three or four times and I still don't know what God is trying to tell me I go to different translations which for me is really important because it gives me like a more rich meaning of what it's trying to say when you read like different translations of one verse you add them up together and you're like okay this is probably what the most accurate like translation what it was trying to say so um if i still think like no there's something more i just don't know i go to this bible right here the tanakh love it so much this i don't use all the time i don't use it every day because i mean look how big this is first of all i can't take it everywhere the hebrew tanakh and translated it directly to spanish so it has like a more rich true meaning of what the original scriptures say and this is really really helpful again for me to know like the true meaning of a scripture um i've used this many times but i don't use it all the time like i said so i'm sure they have the tanakh the um in english as well and that is just how i study the scriptures it's not like again like a routine i always just go with the flow and sometimes god will give like hints like he'll give me like the name of the sermon or of the video he wants me to give and then i'll have to like go and then like 
kind of like, oh, okay, this means this, which reminds me of this story or the scripture, and then I'll go and read it, and then I'll read it in English, and then I'll read it in my study, and then I'll read the notes, and then usually it'll come together like that. Basically, that is everything I do. I, I'm just led by the Holy Spirit. I come humbly, like not knowing anything, yeah. and he starts teaching me. He loves yeah. to teach to childlike Offer. people. I, mean, I uh, hope that these tips can help you get closer to God, can help you awaken up a hunger of God's word to study the scriptures, to get close to him. Because remember in the previous video when I said that spending time with the scriptures is spending time with God because he is the word. So still praying, but still dedicating time to his word. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.